This is a demonstration of the Ping Enhance tool in NetScan Tools Pro 11. As you can see, I've added it to the favorite tools by checking this box over here. Right here you can see the different types of ping that you can do. You have five different types of ping for IP version 4, and then you have also IP version 6 ping down here. These three up here use WinPCAP and give you a high resolution timing. You can send standard ICMP ping packets, you can send UDP ping packets and look for ICMP responses. You can send TCP packets to a specific port and look for ICMP responses. And down here you have the Microsoft built-in pings which are equivalent to your command line. And here's a different type of ping right here where we use uh, standard WinSock to send the UDP packet and look for the response using WinPCAP. You can change the settings right here. As you can see you have the time between packets timeouts, number of packets sent, the data that you want to send as a payload. It can be a file or it can be just the standard default payload. You can set the length. The hop limit, which is formerly called TTL. You have the UDP and TCP ports that you can set. You have the, the code point bits up here for these modes only. And then if you have a TCP mode selected, you can change the header information there and you can use either a SYN or an ACK packet to send it. If you're doing continuous ping where it pings on a periodic basis, you can set the time between ping sets here. So if you have five set, five packets set, and then you send uh, continuous ping, there would be 30 seconds between each set. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. This is a local system. This is my WinPCAP interface. As you can see, there are other interfaces on this machine. We'll ping this target here using standard ICMP packets using WinPCAP. And as you can see, we have a fast time and it tells us the time to this resolution. If you switch down to ICMP ping using Microsoft's built-in DLL, it doesn't have the resolution, so that's all you get. You can switch to UDP. And as you can see, it times out because the firewall doesn't allow it. Switch to TCP. And you can see this is the time it took to connect to port 80 of the target. Let's go ahead and select a different device and use ICMP6. And we've just pinged. Facebook's ICMP version 6 target with the ICMP version 6 packets and there is the IP version 6 address of Facebook's website. You have continuous ping. As I mentioned earlier, it would ping these five, then it would wait 30 seconds and ping them again. The TCP ping will actually go through firewalls because it uses TCP packets. And so if you put it on port 80, it'll go right through the firewall and you'll see the response from the target. Same with UDP. If you put it to the DNS port, it would go straight through most firewalls. You have the right click menu here and you can do various things like copying and saving, printing, and viewing in the web browser. You have other reports right here where you can select this and view these reports in your web browser. You can also export them to a text file, things like that. And Down here you see the response for the last ping set that you did. You see the analysis in terms of packet loss, that sort of thing. That's how you do ping enhanced in Netscan Tools Pro version 11.